guys, I've got my September favourites today and I'm going to show you everything that I've been loving throughout September. I'm actually going to start off with fashion favourites just because it's next to me. And the first thing that I've been loving is this dress from Oasis. It's monochrome and it's kind of got this little collar that sticks up a little bit. I'll insert a picture of me wearing it, but if you want to see it like full length then I will leave a vlog below where I was wearing it and you can see it in that. I absolutely love it. I think it looks so nice when it's on and I'm just so happy about this. I've turned into such a dress person and that is just so random for me. I'm just, I said this in a vlog but I've never been a dress person ever, not even when I was little. I used to hate dresses so for me to be all over dresses right now is so strange. But that is my first favourite. I've got another fashion favourite and it is hats. I've got way too many hats but it's starting to get colder which means that I can whack my hats back out. And I've got a couple of favourites. I've got this one from American Apparel. Just looks like this when it's on, it's kind of like a large floppy hat. But I think this one is perfect for autumn, kind of goes with the leaves. My other favourite that I wear constantly is from H&M and it's this one. It's just a bit smaller and it's black. So this one's what I wear when I don't want something as big as that one but it's still like big. Yeah, moving on. I got this one as well and I've never worn it, it's from Zara. I just don't know if this style of hat suits me but it's got like a chain round it. Does this style suit me? I feel like I'm more of a floppy hat person but I guess I'll see when I watch this back. So those are my fashion favourites for September. I also love this top but I haven't had it for long so I can't class it as a September favourite but this was from ASOS and it's just got little cupcakes on and it's really cute. On to makeup favourites. My foundation favourite has been the Rimmel Lasting Finish Nude Foundation, it's their new one. This is absolutely gorgeous, it's got medium coverage and it blends so well into my skin. I really struggle with foundation sitting especially on top of my nose and this one just doesn't and I haven't got a primer on or anything. I actually tested this in a vlog as well which I will leave linked below. I went on the treadmill and got super sweaty and it still looked perfect so that is definitely a winner in my books. I've been wearing the shade Ivory and I've been wearing this when my fake tan is on like it's third day so I'm not that tanned anymore but there's still a bit on. I've been wearing this shade and I've got it on today and I really really like this. I think it's £7.99. Another Rimmel product that I've been loving is this brow gel. They actually sent me this but it was just in time when I ran out of my MAC one, so I started using this. It's the Rimmel Brow This Way brow gel, and it's just the clear one. They do come in other colours as well, but this is the one that I've been going to. It just sets my brows into place and does literally the exact same job as my MAC one for a fraction of the price, so if you're looking for a good brow gel, this one's really good. A rediscovery of mine is the Maybelline The Falsies Mascara. I went through a phase of not using this and buying different mascaras just to try out but I bought this again because my eyelashes weren't looking that great. I don't really know why, I just felt like after I ran out of my Benefit There Real, no other mascara was making them look nice so I just bought this again and they are back to normal. I still prefer the Benefit They're Real, but that's way more expensive. I think this is a really good drugstore version. It gives me volume, separation and length. 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 So it's perfect. Love it. My last makeup favourites are actually three nail polishes and I've got one on today, but I've only got one coat of it on so I need to do another coat. I don't like wearing just one coat of nail polish, but it's this Kiko one and it's in the shade 389. It's just a gorgeous kind of greeny peppermint shade. I love it lots and lots. And the second one is the Bourjois Solac Glossy and this is in the shade Peace and Mauve. It's just a really, really, really pale purple. This is stunning. I would wear this as like a wedding nail varnish if I was getting married. It's so subtle but still adds a little bit of something and it's just so pretty. And the last one is the Rimmel Velvet Matte one and this is in the shade Velvet Touch. 
This is so different to them too. This one is definitely in your face because it's so dark, but this, because it's matte, just looks like you've got chalkboard nails and it looks really groovy when it's on. So those are my three nail polish favorites. Onto body favorites, I've been loving the Body Shop Wild Argan Oil Rough Scrub. This is basically just an exfoliating scrub. I like to use this because obviously I fake tan and that needs to be scrubbed away and it's just a really gentle exfoliant and it works as like an everyday exfoliator for me. I find that some are way too harsh and they take all of my fake tan off so it's kind of pointless even putting it on when I use one of them but this is just really gentle and it gets like you guys know what I mean if you wear fake tan. It gets like the top bit off as days go on, but it doesn't take it all off. So I've been loving this. Another Body Shop product that I've been loving, I didn't realize my body favorites were two from the Body Shop, but I've been rekindled with my Body Shop Vanilla Body Mist. I've owned this for so long now. I'm gonna put some on. Oh, <laughs> just sprayed it up my nose. This honestly just makes you smell like vanilla ice cream and cupcakes, which is very good right now because I'm wearing a cupcake top, so I want to smell like cupcakes too. If you haven't smelt this before, it's just a super nice vanilla smell. On to hair favourites. I talk about this all the time, but I love it. And it's the Garnier Ultimate Blends, the Sleek Perfector Oil. This saves my hair. If I'm having a bad hair day or it feels super knotty and gross like it does sometimes, I will just put a couple of pumps of this in the ends and it feels so soft. My hair has never felt softer since using this and I'm going to repurchase this till I die probably. I love it and it's a cheaper version of Moroccan oil so if you are not in the right budget for Moroccan oil, this one might be in your budget. I think it's like £9.99 but it's so worth it. This is such a random favourite but because I've moved out I've been buying soap for the bathrooms and this is the Carex Complete Fun Edition in the smell Strawberry Laces. I cannot get enough of this. It smells like strawberry laces, it honestly does. It's like a sweet shop, it's so nice. It's probably meant for kids but I don't care. I love it. I've got an obvious book favourite of the month and it is Alfie's Pointless Book. My mum and brother actually came down recently and me and my brother spent ages on the game of squares in this book and George won, which was not cool, but I got the first square so technically I won. But I just love this book. There's so much to do in it if you're bored and if you haven't got one, go ahead and get one. I got mine from WH Smiths. But this is such a fun book and it's such a good idea and well done Alfie. My really random favourite of the month has been this timer. My mum and brother actually bought me this and it was from the shop called Burt's but it's just a baby pink timer and my cooker oven thing doesn't have a timer on it so I use this whenever I put anything in the oven and it's been working so well for me and it's just so cute and I love it. On to song favourites. I have no shame in the fact that I have rediscovered Britannia High but there's one song that I can't stop singing and it's called Do It All Over Again. I genuinely think it's a really good song. So good that if I ever audition for a singing show, which I probably wouldn't ever do, I would probably sing this song because I just love it so much. And if you haven't listened, I'm gonna leave it in a link below. My next favorite is One Direction Fireproof. How can I not mention One Direction? They are my boys. I love them. I love the song and I can't wait for more. I think I'm gonna lose my mind. Something deep inside me I can't give up There's someone building in the flat below and I swear they can hear me talking right now and I'm just like trying to block them out but awkward. As for TV shows, I've been loving Made in Chelsea. Obviously the New York version came out in the UK and I've been watching it like crazy. I can't get enough. I love Made in Chelsea. I love The Only Way is Essex and I can never choose between them. When one of them's on, I'm always like, oh yeah, this is the better one. But then the other one comes on and I'm like, no, this one's better. And it just goes on forever. Which one do you like more? And I've been loving The Great British Break Off. How can I not mention that when I'm in a cupcake top? And those are all of my favorites for the month of September. Let me know your top three things that you've been loving in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you like my favorites videos and I'll keep on doing them. And subscribe to my channel if you're new and you'd like to see more of me and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.
I also like to pat that in to make it look a lot more natural. And this is my finished everyday autumn makeup look. As I said, I wouldn't wear this every single day, but this is just what I wear when I want something a little bit more dramatic in the autumn time. 